Welcome into the K State Collegiate Paracat pregame show. I'm John Zetmar here with Spencer Lau, and we're here in the beautiful Tempe, Arizona, at Sun Devil Stadium, where the K State Wildcats are set to take on the Michigan Wolverines in the 2013 Buffalo Wild Wings Bowl. Spencer, kind of jumping into this one, the, we know the Wildcats haven't won a bowl game in 11 years, not a lot of recent bowl success. What is something K-State has to do today to be successful and get that cover, or that elusive uh, bowl win? Uh, I think the key today is jumping out early and getting an early lead. Uh, Michigan isn't the spread offense we see in the Big 12. Uh, they pack it in. They're more of an old school uh, ground game first. So playing from behind isn't their strong suit. So if K-State can come out early, we can get a, a touchdown, a field goal, anything. That would be huge, uh, especially with our offense. John Huber's had a good season, uh, good game today, puts him over 1,000 yards. And for sure, I think that the quarterback situation, we're going to see a lot of Jake Waters. So the connection between him and Tyler Lockett, Tremaine Thompson's last game as a Wildcat, that'll be huge today. Oh, yeah, definitely a big time. A lot of seniors going out strong, guys like Tremaine Thompson, uh, Ty Zimmerman in the defense. A lot of those guys probably playing their last big game as a Wildcat. But kind of getting into Michigan's offense a little bit, we were talking about uh, how they don't run that spread. They're more of a traditional Big Ten style team, and but they will be without their starting quarterback, Devin Gardner. Freshman Shane Morris is expected to start this game. Here's what Michigan head coach Brady Hoke had to say about that. They've x-rayed it a couple different times, um, MRI'd it. So it, it's probably a little more than, than just the turf toe. He, he won't play. He won't play at all. Okay. Nope. Uh, the biggest difference is the fact that, uh, you know, you're going from a right-handed quarterback to a left-handed quarterback. So, you know, our preparation has had to be uh, divided in that respect. Some things you do a little more to the left than you would to the right with a left-handed quarterback. And Spencer, we talked a little bit about who needs to be a really, who really need to play well for the Wildcats today. But uh, who's your one specific player on offense that just needs to play well for the Wildcats to walk out of here with a W? Uh, you know, it's got to go with Jake Waters. He's grown quite a bit uh, this season. Uh, he's getting the lion's share of the snaps. So I think a win really depends on him being able to sling the ball around the field and keep the defense off John Hubert. Yeah. And in that last game at Iowa Western, Jake Waters went 32 of 40 in his last game at Iowa Western in that big bowl game to win a national championship. So we'll see if Jake Waters is a, is a big game kind of player. And yeah. He might he, have some clutch in him, so we'll yeah. see. We're going to find out today. For me, uh, on the defensive end, definitely have to go with Ryan Mueller. Uh, we know with Shane Morris starting, Shane Morris is a left-handed quarterback. So now there's a lot of talk about how Ryan Mueller will go up against Taylor Luan. Now Ryan can switch over to that left side, uh, not have to go against Luan, be because now we have Shane Morris, left-handed quarterback, brand new blind side. So it'll be interesting to see what happens. And then we both know about what Tyler Lockett brings, both offensively and special teams. He had a great or he had a great game against Oregon last time they're here in Arizona. What can Tyler Lockett really bring to this team today? Uh, I mean, we've seen it all. See, breathtaking speed, uh, just great escapability when it comes to running the ball out of the return. Uh, they run a lot of quick short routes to him. Anything to get the ball in his hands is huge for this offense, and he makes a lot of matchup problems. And that'll do it for us uh, from Sun Devil Stadium. Was for Spencer Lau. I'm John Zetmeyer, and tune in as we bring more coverage later on at the K State Collegian.